And we'll walk around the compound, see some tigers. All right, here we are. Here we are. I got a. I got the waka. I got the waka on, but, but. You can see that. See that grass moving? It's moving. Yeah. It's breezy. It is breezy. I don't even know if the waka is going to be enough. It's the, the sun is warm, but the air is just slightly warm. I mean, ever so slightly warm, but comfortable. It's t-shirt and shorts weather right now. It's t-shirt and shorts weather. I am sorry to all of you folks up north. But it is gosh darn beautiful down here. Oh my goodness. Subi, Prince of the South. My name is Subi. I am the I am the breezy Prince of the Stump. Prince of the Stump. I'm gonna play the stump like it's my cello. Stump hello. Beats, beats, beats. Oh my goodness. Mo to the lasses. Oh, now Ra's gonna get up. Yeah, now Ra's gonna get up. Yeah. Hi. Hello. Hi, boys. Hi, boys. Hello. Hello. Ha low. Oh, goodness gracious. Good that I saw that. Took a shower not too long ago. I took a shower, put some deodorant on and everything. More pee, more pee. You know how bothered I would have been, especially given that? And I'm like, I actually smell nice. I smell like a person. I, I shaved, <laughs> put on, put on some aftershave. I, what are you doing? It's like, you need some more aftershave. Oh, the BB. I'm like, I don't know if that's the kind of, I don't know if that's the brand I'm looking for. I don't know if that's the brand. So I guess because it's so breezy, I'm gonna try to take more steps to protect. I mean, of course I got the Waka. I got the Waka, I'm gonna use my back. It's a red one. Ooh. A red one. So of course I got that, but I got to try to be a bit more considerate about even protecting, protecting the microphone with my hand. I have to do, I have to do like cupping, kind of like cuppy weird things when I, when it's windy like this. Ay ay ay, ay ay ay. All right. Hello, all you big cat lovers out there. It is me, Derek, again. Welcome to another super duper fantastic episode of the Walk Around the Compound Web Webcast. Walk around the compound. Um, I was gonna, I was gonna talk about a nice, a very nice gift and a very nice note that I got from a gentleman, uh, but. One, I don't have the gift, and two, I don't have the note, and it means I don't remember. I'm sorry, I think it was John? Was it John? Oh, jeez. But it said some very, very nice things. Very, very nice things. And talked about, uh, just talked about him and talked about some of the stuff that he's kind of gone through. And whatnot, and how the, the webcasts helped through some of the uh, more difficult times that he had. So I don't want to, well, I, I'll, I'll just even say it was a, it was a Yorkshire hat, because he was talking about that. He's talking about Peaky Blinders and how, uh, so it's the type of hat that, they, that the Peakies wear in the show. It's a Peaky 
fuzzing blinders. <laughs> yeah, we're not fancy casting right now. Um, but it was it was very very sweet, and he had been uh, actually visiting. He'd been in Texas, and he had tried to. Uh, tried to coordinate a tour and tried to coordinate times to be here to see the cats when I would actually be here and it sucks because the the time that the only time that he was available to come and do the tour I, I just simply wasn't and it was just the circumstance and it really really sucked talk to him before on the phone very very sweet gentleman very very sweet gentleman who uh, yeah like I said had a story had different things that had happened in his life that were not super. Certainly not super. It would have uh, would have pissed in anyone's porridge. See, I didn't say Cheerios because porridge is more of a it's more of a UK reference. Someone done pissed in my porridge. Hi, I just want. I just want to get some video. Man. These boys in there, because the glass is a little bit. Look at them, they're all just kind of like snuggled up on each other. Hi, hi. Okay, okay, I'm not gonna hang out for too long. Okay. Now Apollo is definitely the more, okay. Apollo is definitely more of the get the heck out of my face kind of guy. Get the heck out of my face. I have no desire to, to consort with the likes of you, or any person for that matter. I have no desire. But Lakai is a little bit more strange. And it's one of those kind of things where because of the nature of his uh, socialization, and because he was in an environment that that would have not been the best thing for for him, um, you know, they're, they're around so many people so often, so it makes sense to not. I can't get too close because she's gonna grab me and then she'll try to bite me, which is not cool. <laughs> I really can't. I can't get close. It's almost crazy. So yeah, that's through by through the sheer virtue of their environment, Apollo and Lakai uh, were understandably socialized in a way so that they don't feel very emotionally attached to people, and that definitely is not how uh, things are here at Care. But that's because we have the luxury we have the luxury of being in a in an environment where the like the only times that we have like public coming through. Uh, our specific times during the weekends, it's guided tours, guided experiences, chaperoned visits, if you will, chaperoned visits. And then all the other times, all the other times, the, uh, the kids get to just kind of do their thing and just be, be on their own. And just relax. And then the only people that they interact with are going to be just the workers here. Workers and volunteers and interns. That's it. That's it. So again, we have the luxury of being able to, uh, to put more elements of that sort of interaction into our, into our repertoire, I guess you could say. So, again, Apollo, standoffish. But Lakai... He's not, he's, he's, I wouldn't say he's aloof, and he's not explicitly, like, standoffish. He's not, like, aggressive, but he'll come up to the edge of the fence when he sees you oftentimes, and he'll want to say hello. It's like there's a curiosity kind of thing going on. And it's also, it seems like he's basically, like, watching, as if he's watching the other cats and all of the interactions that they have, and then he's sitting there kind of thinking, like, not even saying, like, well, that's something I want to do, but maybe it's just like, okay, well, it seems like that's what they do here, so I'm going to see if I can just try to kind of fit in, I guess. So he'll, he'll just walk up to the edge of the fence, and then he stops, and he just kind of looks at you like, like, 
I, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> now what? What are, what's the next step? What do, what do cats here normally do? <laughs> and then I have to basically say like, you're doing good. It, this is fine. This is fine. Don't, don't overthink it. <laughs> it's, it's actually, it's kind of sweet. It's kind of cute. Hey, Sean. Hey. How you doing there, bud? Are you, oh, you're doing some of that wiring, doing some of that wiring. Sean is one of our long-term volunteers. He has been here for over 10 years, Center for Animal Research and Education. And also he is one of our wiring extraordinaire experts. He is probably the best wire, wire-er. Is that like the right way to say it, do you think? Uh, I think so. Like wire-er. wire er, wire -er. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's, yeah. And I'm not even, uh, that. I'm not even like... Like, that's like a strange like niche skill to have but that's absolutely it like it's, he is necessary. it's well it's necessary but then it's also it's like okay well you slap some wire on the thing you think well anyone can do that eh, not really like sean actually is like really really awesome so thanks bud You're welcome. uh yeah <laughs> so yeah yeah oh my gosh there was a tiger right there right there Archie is, I guess, I was. Everyone's just kind of, everyone's just kind of, kind of chill and snoozy today. That's cool. I'm all right with that. They're just kind of, yeah, just chill and snoozy. Chill and snoozy. Chill dash the letter N apostrophe dash snoozy. There you go. There you go. Where's Allie? Allie is always... Uh, whenever I film, it seems like she is inside of one of the housing units. Just asleep. She loves it in there. And then when I, like, okay, and then I'll walk around maybe like half an hour, 45 minutes later when I'm not filming. And she's out there walking around, looking pretty. And be like, couldn't you, couldn't we time this a little bit better? See, and I, first off, I, I started saying, couldn't you... But that's me shifting blame. There has to be, there has to be an appropriate, like, let's collaborate together. Let's not, I don't want to sit there and say, like, this is all her. I have to also make sure that I'm looking at her day planner as well. Hi, sweetie pie. <laughs> okay. It's such a strange thing with Melita. She starts off like, she starts off so sweet, 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 sweet. And then all of a sudden it's like, it's almost like that the energy of the emotional energy of the situation starts to elevate and, and she just can't help but just get like, I'm just, I'm getting, I'm getting too staticky now. I'm getting staticky and it's uncomfortable. That's sometimes what I think it's, is happening. Oh my Lanta. Look at this pretty girl. Look at this absolute sweetheart. My goodness, my goodness, oh, oh, my, do you even know, with your salmon pink nose, do you even know, what you do to people, it's like I do, I do, that's why I do it. You're tearing me apart, princess. You're tearing me apart. <laughs> and Des is over there. Moving cats around. Doing work. Killing it. Rocking. So proud of her. I really am. I mean, she is just... It's a, it's a, it's like a, it's a duck to water. It is like a duck to water. Her uh, taking on the curator position. So yeah, I am very, very proud. She is just on point. She is so organized. She communicates so well. She is such a strong leader. She takes the time to train and mentor and develop people. 
I mean, and just things, and they just, the, the way that things just move and operate, it is so smooth. So smooth. So yeah, the uh, the day-to-day -day functions of the facility, they are in, like, they are in, ex they, they've always been, like, in good hands. It's not a, it's, yeah. Huh. Back. Showing your back. Are you going to do other things? Cute stuff? Maybe roll up or, or something? Hmm. And, like, I don't want to sit there and say, like, yeah, <laughs> things were just terrible before, but now they're finally actually good. That's not the characterization I'm trying to put out there. Um, but I guess, I guess this through the, through the sheer virtue of, I guess, limited time, limited resources, uh, like the, the organization was still kind of coming into its own in many ways, the structure and the, the, I, the organization of the organization was being fleshed out. So, yeah, I, there was just times for years. I mean, you know, you get the handful of interns, and then there's like there's like me and Heidi, and you got your EMVFs, of course, and we've always had volunteers, but it's just things were... You had to kind of prioritize, and you just couldn't... You couldn't always get every single I dotted and T crossed, you just because there were, you had to wear so many hats. You had to wear all the hats. So many hats. But now you have, you have people wearing a hat that is appropriate for like a person to wear. That's, that's the big thing. They're not having to wear multiple hats where you have one person performing the function and job, you know, ostens uh, ostensibly of multiple people. Did I say that word before? I think I already did. I'm overly using the word ostensibly, I'm trying to sound smart. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Ooh. And I guess with that, because in a, in a way, there was a long period of time where you could even argue, like say that I was, like I held on to that the the curator position in in essence. That that was kind of a function that I was providing for for a long time, but at the same time, I had a full time job, and um, near the end of, near the end of that kind of period, near the end of that period. Oh my gosh. That's when I started doing, like, beginning the social media stuff. So for a long time, there was no... It wasn't social media. It was just that. So that's the other thing. And I talked about this in um, one of my fancy casts, which if you want to watch... Uh, if you want to have extra big cat content, extra webcasts, ost ostensibly... <laughs> <laughs> ostensibly extra webcasts then you can go to the patreon uh i try to be i try to be consistent try to be regular i try to take my metamucil <laughs> uh that's a poop joke but yeah i was i was i performed that function for a very long time or a number of the functions that I guess are traditional. And this is even before like that position was even defined, before we turned the curator into a thing. So as far as like cleaning and feeding and doing, and I was really heavy into that. Of course, like we had volunteers and yes, I, like Heidi, most definitely. But there was like a, we, we ended up having a rhythm where she was able to focus on the administration side of the facility, and I spent so much time out here working with the cats. So, like, I have that, that, I do have, like, a very solid knowledge of how things are done, how they could be done, and then, you know, you have, uh, you have some of the different circumstances of life that happen where basically I take on a take on a position that's 
geographically separated from home. Geographically separated. So my ability to have the same degree of, uh, of work and responsibility and influence, absolutely, it's going to go down. So we had to, we had to start generating or crafting that, uh, that curator position. And then you try to, you try to make it work and you try to, I guess, okay. oh my gosh, Jake, that's Jake, by the way, that's Jake. Jake is being cute. Jake, and he, he's, he's peeing. He is peeing. He's just on the ball, and he's just peeing. He's like, back to play. It almost was like, he was like, I'm playing, playing, playing. Oh, there's that silvery feeling. And he's like, I and back to play. What is he doing? Look at him. He's being so silly. He's being silly. And I got to pee on the ball now. Wow. This is, this is something. <laughs> uh, that's great. That's really great. That's really, really great. Where's Munch? But yeah, the, you you try to get used to like the new way of doing things, the new uh, style of operation, the new uh, flow of responsibility. And then you try to still like contribute, you try to fit in. But then it's hard because a lot of times it's like you spend most days away and then you come in and then you still try to have like a certain degree of like, you know, like contribution and responsibility. And it's just not going to be the, it's just not going to be the case. It's just not going to be the case. So then, and I've talked about, that was actually the, the main, like the main topic of that, of that fancy cast, which I can, I can condense a lot more. I can certainly condense, but you naturally have those feelings, especially when you start seeing how well things are now being done and how well they're being run. And here's the thing, like Destiny, she's, she's doing those traditional functions like far better, far, far, far better than I ever did. As far as like the, just the day to day, the consistency, the degree of quality. Don't get me wrong. There's, there's, there's always the, the ability to mentor and like, okay, well, we can try this or communication or blah, da, 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 da. But as far as like where, I guess where she is at, as far as her skill level is concerned versus where I would have been at, at the same level, like she's past me. She's past me. And then it's certainly not going to be, it's not going to be too long, you know, before she passes me on basically most everything. I can still shoot horses real good though. She's never going to, she's never going to be better than me at that. <laughs> I'm real, I am good. I am good at killing stuff. I am. I am. <laughs> And I'm sure that she'll be like, yeah, that's fine. You can still have that one. And I'm like, do 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 yay. <laughs> I'm, I'm needed somewhere. But that's also, I guess that it, it, it can bring up certain kind of emotions, you know, like seeing, seeing how well things are done. And then you sit there and like, well, oh my gosh, like I'm, my, my, my relevance, my, my influence, my ability to, uh, you know, contribute, it's certainly not the same. It's not the same. It's not to say that I don't, because of course, you know, I, I definitely heavily focus on the social media aspect of things, which is, it's a super, super important function. I'm still a board member. I still am able to use my experience both, uh, as a as a site manager and also as a an administrator to help continue to develop care um, as an organization as an entity so I had to really evolve 
the nature of my role and the and evolve like how I viewed everything and evolve how I was able to continue to contribute but there was that period where it's just like oh my gosh like everything's like it's it's happening so fast and I'm not I'm not doing the thing that I used to do so I'm being replaced. They don't need me anymore. They don't need me anymore. That's, yeah, the, and that, that, that anxiety kind of comes in. Absolutely. Absolutely. It does. And I'm just like, ah. Uh. That's what I, I called the last, uh, I called that fancy cast, don't put me in a home. Oh my gosh. Look at her. She's sending signals. So like Mika's, well, they're not paying attention. But she's like, I dare you to come after me. Look at, I'm showing my belly. I am not afraid of you. I show you my belly. I show you how much of a threat you are not. You are so not a threat that I am able to just gingerly roll and show my belly. That's what I think of you. Patoo, patoo, patoo. I think that that's what she was doing. Either that or she's just, you know, maybe getting the getting the oils and stuff like that just kind of mopped up on her on her fur. Is that why they do that? Is that why they do that? I mean, tigers, they just kind of, they'll roll on the grass and everything just because they're feeling just happy and squishy. I imagine that elements of happiness and squishiness also come into, like, house me, I was doing that. But, yeah, dirt, specifically. I could probably Google it, but... I didn't. <laughs> yeah. But that's the big thing is uh, being able to like really be comfortable with the idea that that like s someone else is taking the functions and the roles that you used to have and now they're doing it better. They're doing it better. And it's better for everything overall. It's like you don't have to it's like you don't have to sit there and be and you don't have to worry about like who you are and your role in things or or what you have been able to accomplish up until this point your function your your contribution and here's the thing it's basically just like okay we'll figure it out figure out a different way evolve don't don't get just like ah. <laughs> figure it out do do stuff different that's it that's really it so, yeah. Oh, uh, but that's, that's, it is, it's a weird kind of thing where, you know, there's horses to be butchered, or there's, there's pens that need to be cleaned and everything, and it's like, you come in and, like, hey guys, you need my help? And they're like, we got it. And I'm like, okay, well, all right. <laughs> hey. Hey you. Hi. Squeaks? Squeaks? Do you have any? Or you you look kind of sleepy. You look kind of sleepy. She's like, I need uh I need some coffee before I can squeak. I haven't even had my coffee. It's like there she is. There she is. Cassie, it is afternoon. He's like, yeah, beauty rest, it's a thing. Beauty rest is a thing. Well, Cassie, you must be just always resting because you are beautiful. What are you doing? Hey, no, he's like right there. You know, we could, uh, we could kinda do that thing again. Lightning in a bottle, you know, huh? Just uh, think about it. I'll get back to you. Hi, Noe. Hi, Noe. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I was hanging out with uh, I was hanging out with Mr. Stanks, and I was walking around with him yesterday around the uh, around the perimeter of the property not just the not the compound so out in the fields and and different things like that and oh it was great and he was peeing on stuff and just trying to 
maybe get him away from kind of bubs and gibbs and just get him a little bit of exercise just kind of help out Hi. Mm. and then i was bringing him back up to the house and no he was just like oh no 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 because she as you remember or as you may very well know she grew up in the house and poopy is her pal and she loves mr stanks loves him so we have to like periodically bring Poopy to go visit Noe. And Poopy doesn't, yeah, that's the thing. It's like, if I feel bad because he really doesn't. He's, he's fine with it. He never goes and like sniffs at her and everything. Like he doesn't. He's just like, I am standing in front of this enclosure. He's not paying attention to Noe, but Noe's just like, hey, hey, what's up, bud? Hey, how are you? How are you? This is a long time no see. And then Poopy again still is like, I am standing in the proximity of this enclosure right now. But yeah, that was a thing. And of course, I was sitting there thinking like, ah, maybe I should film. I, I was sitting there thinking maybe I should film this right now, but I knew that the initial thing was going to be over. And also, uh, if I'm gonna do something like that, kind of go into it knowing that I'm gonna do it, not think of it like halfway through. And also, you know what? There's a lot of times you just want to appreciate the moment. Not everything has to be, not everything has to be captured. Not everything has to be turned into content. Okay. Ren. Melissa says hi. Melissa says hi. Yeah. And then also Melissa's cat. I guess Melissa's cat Thor has a crush on Bobby. What up, Thor? Well, there she is. Melissa's probably aggressively mushing Thor's face into the screen. Just being just like, there she is! <laughs> and Thor's like, why are you doing this? <coughs> Alright. We only have a little bit. Before 33 minutes and 10 seconds. Only have a little bit. Gotta get to Yano. 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 Can we end the cast with a moo? Yes. Yes. All right. That's it. Well, good enough for me. All right. Thanks for watching this episode of the Walk Around the Compound webcast. Hashtag Dorbus to Warden in the comment section below. Like and subscribe for all that big cat goodness. You can always check out the facility and donate to the nonprofit, carerescuetexas.com. Why did I do that? carerescuetexas.com. And then uh, we'll see you later. All right. Bye-bye.